Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. Pentaceps. You did it. What about Pentaceps? I just uh, it became a it became a fun bit. I really like. It's like I just really like Pentaceps, and uh, okay. every time Nerf found some Pentaceps, I was just like Pentaceps, but we couldn't wear it in their game because uh, they went mutant and you went Trukin. So classic, classic Pentaceps. So. We are on the, well, officially we're on the third floor of Tomb of the Eaters. You got past Golgotha, you know, part two, electric boogaloo or lava boogaloo, I guess. Um, and we're just kind of roaming. We have quite a lot of layers to get through. I guess you're on the second layer of uh, the garden as what I call it. I guess the upper crypts is officially what it's called. Priests and royal families. So... This is um, oh. the only dungeon in Caves of Cud that ascends, by the way. You know, fun fact. We're going up. We're going up. You're three strata high. I wonder if that's true. I just want to, like, fact check my own brain here. I think that is true. But we're roaming yep. around. We get ferrets. Getting caught by ferrets. Um, we still have to be aware of the bell. We have 220 rounds to go. I'm really looking forward to um, hopefully today, and this this is a fresh recording session, by the way. Um, I'm looking I'm forward fresh. to the potential of you getting to the top of the tomb. Ooh. There's real there's real uh, benefits lurking here. There's also a lot of cybernetics, like you saw a little bit last time, but each of these. Each of those little alcove rooms has the potential to have, like, great boons. Oh, so I want to explore all of them. Well, I mean, it's it's like, it's kind of up to you. If you want to fully explore the tomb, I, I certainly, like, I would encourage that. But I also understand there's a lot of this. There's basically three by three, like, T Tomb of the Eaters is an entire parasang. Um, so it's three by three tiles. And then it's also like four strata high. It's just the upper, upper, uh, you know, upper tomb. So four times nine, what is that? You're talking about 36 tiles of exploration. If you want to like fully mm. explore um, the upper tombs. Worth it? I mean, certainly you can see right here, we've got a, a thermo cask. Um, that's worth a seven bit at the very least. Uh, uh, I'm going to disassemble it. Yeah, go for it. It's a really, really, really nice armor, but we do have better, I think. And we have a slender Eigen rifle worth picking up. We aren't really close to getting encumbered yet. It's also got a thermoelectric cell for lava, but you do have to worry about these lads though. The uh, crypt sitters, I mean, yeah, you can uh, stun lock them pretty well. Gonna shield slam them, that's a good idea. You could also stunning force them. The like only that problem, really explodes the... It does kind of explode the room. <laughs> I kind of love that. Have you been seeing the, the like, uh, people talking about in the comments what your cathedra actually is? Is, like, hilarious. I, I what, what do you mean? Well, um... I have not. Sorry, go ahead. I have not. I have not seen... So I think I pitched the cathedra as being like a jetpack. I that is the canon that it's a castle shaped jetpack. It's uh it's more closely like um you remember you remember in Futurama uh like uh, Farnsworth at, at some point like rides in on a like a little lazy boy with that has like jets on it. Oh. It's closer to that. It's like you have a chair that is like implanted coming out of your back like you are attached to it and it has jets so you're just like riding around on this like royal throne um and then it has like defensive <laughs> uh capabilities it's um it's quite quite the the the, the thing quartz for a hat huh i bet you that is really valuable At the very least it's engraved it is it's antidote. Deep in Mavadum, Antidote 3 discovered a Duggish Grotto. There he befriended newly sentient beings and recorded the events on the last year. We know this one. This is not new. This is not new. 
Oh, but the baboons don't like it. Uh, that's true. That's because it's made of quartz fur. Quartz fur is technically baboon fur. I love that every time. It's it's one of my favorite ever things. And <laughs> cuz it's like it really sets a tone of like this place is foreboding. I know you said that uh like this place isn't really being as intense intense as, as I maybe um hyped it up to be, but you do also have an insanely good build, so you know, maybe it feels a little uh nerfed. These crypt sitters are kind of giving you a run for your money though. Until you start perma stunning them and then they're just whatever. Oh, he's already dead. I love the Crypt Sitters. Crypt Sitters are getting a new animation, by the way. Um, they get like actual genuine animated beam attacks, which I'm I'm excited for. And you're oh you're that was like the perfect amount of resting. I didn't find a way out though. Well, it sucks that there's a over. there's a lot of ferrets and they're gonna make things like kind of difficult for you. Like, there might not be stairs on this tile, right? There's no stairs on this tile, probably not, no. You're gonna have to roam around a little bit. Visit a new tile. You may find one of the other creatures that you could have given the repulsive device to. You know, that's a kind of annoying thing. Oh, there's some mashed lag. I love, I, we love mashed lag. We take those. I mean, we don't actually have to, though. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. You see the 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 wheat field mm. on the right there? That's some lag. We don't actually have to like spend time going over there, but um. Well, and, I haven't found anywhere better to go yet. Yeah, we can. I guess those like t like kind of brick tiles on your right there are are technically paths. They may lead to other parts of the garden. Oh, we have Mopengo helping us. Nice. What was happening in the room they were in? There's some bits. You just stole their bits. They needed those. I don't know what for, but... Well, they shouldn't have left them lying around. They shouldn't have left their room to come help you. For for you have stolen I their... I didn't ask for their help. They just saw a bunch of ferrets and were like, we hate these guys too. That's true. Uh... We, we don't act... Yeah, but... The lag group refuses to speak to you. You did har harvest it, though. You would be auto-harvesting except for the ferrets. Or unless we have harvest turned off. Can't remember. I don't think so. No, we have it on. Harvest plant's on. It's probably just because the, of the ferrets are, like, you know, hostile. Those scamps. Those little ferrets. Let's Here we go. go. Somewhere. There we go. Oh my god, mm. look at all the grave moss. Good god. Grave moss is potentially bad, but not necessarily bad? Yeah, pretty much exactly that. Um, you see the weird red plant to your left? Mm -hmm, with uh, the teeth. Yeah, the gorged whatever. That they uh, Grave moss will like occasionally grow those. And I mean, they're not a big deal. They're pretty whatever, but they do look scary. Oh, we don't want to accident. Oh, never mind. We've uh, we've provoked. I'm the shooting them. We've provoked the slinth. The slinth are now not our friends. It's fine. We're fighting a snail mother. Ping pong pong. I like the little. Uh, this oh. flower is coming up on me. Yeah, that's the slinth. Oh, I guess they mm. are pilg death pilgrim of the third Antidoctian kinfolk, so they wouldn't have liked you anyway. That's the problem with cults, you know. The, I think the real problem, honestly, are these... Oh, yeah, this is a great geo th um, disc time. Good call. Really good call, actually. Because the geo disc also matches AV, and the worst part about snail mothers is they have, like, high AV. Little concerned about that slime -o. Yeah, you're slimed. All right. Well, I mean, this is this is going pretty well so far. The honestly, the the biggest danger is that they poison you multiple times, and then you 
can actually take some pretty nasty damage. I am ill. Should I be worried about being ill? No, you're, that's fine. It's it's a um, it's an effect that wears off after a bit. You'd be worried about it if you were like close to dying, because then you can't heal. Uh, ill really um, stops you from recovering sometimes, which can be dangerous. But you should be fine. I think you can still salve also. It'll just stop you from like eating herb berries and like which would bark. We do need, yeah, we gotta kill that snail mother because they can make more eggs. Tink tonk, tink 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 tonk. Mm, yep. Stunning force? Yeah. Good idea. Bah! <laughs> Step off! Nope. You're not but gonna what be. What if I? Yeah, I mean, yep. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I like I how slipped. you you slipped on the slime and ended up to the north tile. I can't conk yet. Boop boop. Okay, it's dead, right? Uh, no. it is Pretty in fact dead. No, no, not. it's still there. Uh, badly wounded. Uh, poisoned again. Okay, that's starting to become a problem. Okay, the snail the, the snail mother is dead. Thank goodness. Don't open that chest yet. We need to recover. <laughs> uh, I can't see it. There you go. Yeah, just wait a few turns. You should be okay. You could uh, you can hit yourself with a salve. I don't know how many of those we have is the only thing. Some. Some. Oh boy. Tonics. Tonics. We have two. two. That's not enough. But heck it all to heck, we have hit ourselves with the salve, and that should be good for a bit. Yeah, oh. that, um, you hit your your hologram, and it this is a silly thing. You gained twenty one XP. How did that happen? I killed it. How? With my. Oh, you just moved to my my bare hands. Yeah. Oh, but he's not active. Oofta. Hello. Hello, everyone. Well, we do be smacking people through a hole. Um, I, the, the room almost became inaccessible, which is really funny. Those gorge growths are actually really worth it for you to kill because they're giving you really decent XP without posing much of a challenge to you. We should uh, maybe at some point think about reorganizing your active abilities so that they're the ones that you use the most are all on one page. But I love scrolling around. Do you actually? No. <laughs> do you want to hit A? We can do that real quick. Oh, oh, wow. This is the old menu. I forgot. Never mind. Yeah, you won't let me live in the now. Uh, I forgot. I forgot we... Wow, that's a, this, this is a few updates ago now. Oh, man. Oh, Gorge Growth can slam? Didn't know that. Oh, you have, like, a lot of Gorge Growths hanging out out there. I know. <laughs> We're going to be here for a while. Oh, they're coming. Oh. Come on, dude. Come on, plant. Juke. We, ju we juking? We Jump. jumping? We juking and we jumping. I just, I just want to heal. Yeah. I just want to heal, man. Yeah, they really, uh, they really are like, kind of um, threatening you. Uh, that's a good idea, actually. We could go to. Uh, the ferrets really make this room kind of an annoying. There we go. Yeah, all right, just rest here. This can't possibly blow up in our face at all. Hold on. Can ferrets open doors? Uh, probably, yeah. Mm, going in there anyway. Collect some no, brackish this... blood. Did I do that? I didn't mean to. No, I don't think he did. Okay. The ferrets are less threatening than the uh, gorged growths, which is kind of nice. There's still one in your room. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm trying to sleep. Buddy, what are you trying to pull here? Smack, 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 smack. All right. Huh. 
The sounds of chaos and violence ensues outside your door. What's happened? Uh, the lead bullet. A bullet is happening. Pass from the north. Well, I don't. Oh uh, no. There's honestly no way they could be shooting inside your room right now. No, it just got close enough that it stopped my rest. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm hungry. Indeed you are. Do we want to cook a good meal? Might as well while we're here. Um, are we still cooking from a recipe? Don't have to, I guess. Uh, well, I'm not suggesting that that's a bad idea. I'm just like, we don't need borrowing claws anymore because um, we're outside no, we're not, of the... We're not, we're not digging anymore. We're not digging anymore. Not digga digga. We're still, we're not inspired. We may as well cook from a recipe. What um, do we want? What do we need? That top one's pretty good. Shank some people? Yeah. That'll be, that'll be good. And plus four strength is nice. Pretty sure Shank... All right. Let's see what's going on. At, or how long do I have here? Yeah, I think it just happened. Yeah, you're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I love ferrets. Love ferrets. A lot of blood. Lovable little skanks. Them. Skanks? Scamps. I don't know if that's the word you meant. Yeah, that's not the word I meant, actually. Too bad. Oh. Skanks, all of them. What? Someone angered a crypt sitter. Mm hmm. So it's. What is he angry at me? Always. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> you know, it'd be good right about now. Oh, yeah. That's a great. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, no, I was just gonna do high explosive. Okay. Swear to God. I just miss it a little. Wee. That was pretty good. I attempt to flinch away, but the laser column is too wide. Oh, I could shank something, but there's nothing around. Shank left. There we go. <laughs> shank. Shank left. Skank left. Skank left. Shank right. Um, could try a stasis right. grenade if you don't want to deal right with any of the ones this. I like. Resonance is I just, quite nice. I wanted to explode them, you know. Use a resonance grenade then. All right. That's good. It's a it's a big old boom. You could, yeah. I mean that works. Boom! Look at that. That killed him. I think. No, no it didn't kill him. He just moved him a lot. I think there's something getting in the oh. way. Hey, He's sleeping. Listen, buddy. But he's, he's sleeping now. He's back to... No, he's not. He's still he angry sleeping. at you. No, he's neutral. Neutral? What the fuck? He's sleeping. I think the thing that pissed him off died. So he's chill now. Ugh. Oh. Well, that means... But we don't yeah. know which crypt it came from. So if we go in looking in chests and shit... Do we need a two-handed... No. Fork? No. What did you kill? Oh, a slinth is worth 750 XP. Wow. 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 Well, that door's closed. So probably not those two. Wow. I'm guessing this one down here. Oh, Ferrets can't open doors, but they can close them. That's a lie. I, I, I made that up just now. I don't understand. Yeah, it's from this one. All right. So you open that chest and flee. <laughs> a lacquered nano wee vest and a weird what effect. Wow. Ta Ooh, a tri -hologram, tri hologram bracelet. bracelet. Heck yeah. Are we moving yeah. up in the world? Yeah, we're moving up in the world. We upgrade that. All right. All right. That's a good Inventory. one. Uh, equipment. No. Uh, oh, oh, Heck oh, oh. yeah, bud. What's that? Is that an armor? Artifact? Uh, ooh. Probably an artifact. Yeah. Oh, we got someone we don't even know about. Not here. Spring turret Airfoil grenade. Spring those are great. Grenade. We love those. Oh, thermal. thermal. Yeah, that's good, too. Honestly, some defoliant grenades would be good right about now. Do you know how to make those? Uh, yeah, maybe? Maybe I, I might have, like... We certainly have some. Do we? Do we want to swap the cell out? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Wow. 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 It's got a full chem cell right now. Yeah, bio, I think the biodynamic would be good. Because, um, you know, it's been working so far, like it's full. Yeah. 
So I may as well uh, keep that going. And it's That's never, okay. we've never had it die on you, right? I don't, I think the tri hologram bracelet will probably use more juice, but eh, who cares? Uh, we have one. Should we see if we know how to make them yeah. first? Good idea. We know how to make the Mark One. All right, we should learn how to make the Mark Two. So let's let's use the Mark One that we have, and then um, save the Mark Two for when we're like hungry again. Grenades. Grenade. Grenade. All right. Just like next time you see a pile of gorging growths, we we throw defoliant grenades at those. There isn't a tomb sitter in here, or crypt sitter. Interesting. Nothing in that. That's why. That tomb's for rent. <laughs> we have vacancy here. Dancing ferrets. Fancy ferrets that jump, apparently. Oh, you got lag root pricks you with an, its neuronal thorns. I wonder what that does. Oh, we have fractus here. Wow. Ow. You just you just walked right into it. Oh, they're bad. Yeah. There's actually, um, I wish you could carry Fractus with you because they're really useful for, like, collecting blood. Because they only do one damage to you, but they make you leak a little bit of blood. So you right, gonna... you really shortcut the entire upper crypts there. <laughs> you did it. You're, you're, you're at the final floors here. Um, well done. You gotta stop being surprised that I'm just naturally so good at this game well, by accident. Like, you you literally found the staircase on the second tile. Like, that's kind of insane. Also, that staircase, as you saw, was like, it's usually pretty well hidden. It takes a while to find it. So, uh, I am gonna be surprised because I've never found it that quickly before. <laughs> I, do I go up some more? Yeah, Is there you, anything you, I need to find on this floor? No, you're gonna you're just going up. Alright. Do I wanna do anything first? Like what? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. You're metabolizing, you have strength, you're good. Yeah, alright. I feel some ambient astral friction here. Yeah, so if you had mental mutations, uh they would be harder to pull off here. Hmm. But I'm a robot man. You are a robot man. Uh, I'm just going to keep going up, I guess. Yep. And those are just holograms of eaters. Yep. Wow. Ooh, it got ominous. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, bah, bah. Is that anything? Uh -oh. hologram. No, it's yeah, they're all holograms. That's a hologram of someone's chest of drawers. They're that important. Alright, alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Here at last. Clank puff on you, <laughs> then clank build jalopy. <laughs> That's written in the tomb. Who's be who be graffitin? The Sultan's tomb with Clank Puff clank, on you. Clank, clearly. Clank, clank is, clearly. That's, that just means Clank is was here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And things are happening. Oh, I have. I don't think I've seen that one before. This is always What's a little this? bit different. This is a okay. mural to Artafa. Or Artafa. Celebrate the angelic year of the traveling devil. When Artafa was dowered with the Kessel face and named Sultan of Cud. His ancestors, the fossilized sods, though sads, looked on in approval, since, just like them, he was known by his reputation for hearing the lamentation of one's foes. Lamentation of the women. <laughs> All right. So there's there's a very here? big stuff happening in this room. That is a mighty... Oh, a beetle cherub. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, that's so cool, actually. Oh, I love that the halo is actually like visible through the uh, creature, like it's transparent. Should I go talk to him? Uh, they will probably not have much to say. For the sake of wisdom, Oratafa settled at Shararararatahara in Granary District Mimmer. I really think we should have gone to Granary District Mimmer. It seems like it's bumping. <laughs> to live among the plebeians and protect skins. 
After seven modest years, he appeared anew at the hamlet of Tem Ripa. Hey, Perfect. You're gone, buddy. Who was gone? My cat was being spicy. Oh. He sat on my cord and I had to move the cord and then he decided to try and make a beef out of it. Oh, another one. Yeah. Can actually can we look at that for again? I'm wondering what special effects a Batal cherub would have. Twenty five percent. Repel gases. Okay, this creature belongs Beast to the mighty cast. cherubim. Plus twenty strength. I actually don't think. Oh, reflectively shielded. Okay. Tough. So don't shoot them. Yeah, we're on good terms with them right now. Oh, oh. four of them. Oh. Do I have any anti Batal grenades? Uh, no, I don't think that. I mean, I guess EMP grenades would be technically anti batal because I think they are technically robots, although they aren't a different faction, obviously. I'm just going to quickly so, get all this. Um, you can, but uh, there's something you should know about the information that you're garnering. Mm -hmm. um, have a look in your journal at Oratafa, uh, Sultan Histories, Oratafa. Aha. Uh -huh. So, do you notice something? Boom engraving. Yeah. Boom engraving. So, all of that information, it's organized by like, chrono it's chronologically organized. So, like, the tomb engraving fits into the lore that you have g gathered, but it's different. It's actually a bit more detailed. Uh, it might even conflict with the information that we've gotten. Um, so, it's, you know, kind of worth no noting all of that. I think. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm pretty sure that if we look into that top chest, we the one they're all guarding. Yeah, the one they're all guarding. Uh, they will um, become aggressive to us, but there may be a Kessel face in there. Okay, and I want that. You do want that. Um, I'm a little. Is worried. that why I'm here? Can you remind me why I'm here? Yes. Um, Great. Can do you want the short version or the long version? Uh, Cole's notes. Um, you are here to potentially demagnetize the, uh, spindle. Um, there's, you know, uh, basically, Ooh. uh oh. <laughs> well, we're here now. You may as well take all. And then run. <laughs> I don't think you should be examining goods because if they're angry, you're spending turns doing that. Just so you know. Protective force of the cherubim prevents you. Uh, okay. So I can't take anything till I get so rid of them. They're not aggressive, but yes, if you want to take that stuff, you have to make enemies to uh, Batal cherubs. We could do this, but um, know that when you uh, attack one, they're all going to be aggressive, so we have to find a way of basically like fighting them one by one is like the hardest part about fighting the cherubs um if you since you didn't anger them by opening the chest let's uh let's look at why this is even worthwhile have a look in that chest again there's a reason the kessel face has been so hyped up for so long yeah look at all that look at all that oh i'd be even faster plus six to cybernetics license tier also mm -hmm. like that's that's ridiculous that's an entire, that's like two cybernetics. Grants you telepathy, quickness, ego. It's absurdly good. That dagger also, by the way, really nice. Um, that's technically, um, I always forget the name of it. Um, A long blade. It's uh, uh, Zetachrome. That's oh. the best tiered weapon in the game. Plus three strength. 8% chance to behead antelopes on hit. Why? Why specifically? Because it's the antelope's blight. <laughs> uh, okay, we may as well uh, examine the small box. I'm sure it won't be oh. anything. Now that we know that it's fine to do so. Ah, Gauntletica. Fabricates one trinning lamprey cognitively altered to like you. I mean, a trending lamprey is a really good creature to have on your side. All right, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing three great little guys in that box. Yeah. Um, 
this will probably the, be the toughest fight in the game for you. Uh, worthy of a handy nuke, but the thing is, is that you don't want to blow up the objects yeah. in question. Is the MP going to ruin the things in the box? No, it, it by design, it doesn't destroy anything. It just um, kind of disables robots. Look at these. Oh, a, a linear, linear cannon. cannon. Ooh. It's siphon baton. Um, here's the thing. You, mm -hmm. you gotta mm -hmm. be, so are you, you're committing to doing this? I want that face. All right. Um, I'm going to let you in on, on a few things. Cause like here, here's the, here's the danger though. We are on role play mode. If you die here, we're going to have to do almost a full tomb again. So mm -hmm. it would be better if you, if we didn't die. Um, we don't have reprogrammable. Yeah, that's always the case. That's true. That's always the case. Um, they, it mentioned in the description that they are reflectively shielded so guns aren't gonna do nothing not just guns uh grenades are tricky as well they will actually bounce grenades your tri hologram bracelet will come in great handy here also we may actually I... be able to get the whole thing done with it um if you throw a grenade directly at them it will bounce so what you need to do is throw the grenade near them yeah i was gonna go for like here yeah that works uh, you might also want to make some more EMP grenades if this is something you want to do. So that you, like, have more to equip. It's going to take you a long time to fight and kill one of them, so keeping the other ones engaged is, like, really important. I was even going to suggest maybe uh, you want to use some stasis grenades because those are, like quite good for uh keeping something from like attacking don't want to use exploding ones because that's gonna blow up the stuff right? that's right stasis grenades are totally fine in that regard they don't hurt the th anything they just keep something occupied I don't yeah we can make a few of these yeah probably we want mark three because they will last longer i'll do a few all right so yep i'm gonna do it all right i'm wishing you great luck i mean i'm really fast right yeah like you that's can, my thing you can you've, you can maneuver them for sure you can out I also have them. like yeet boots you do so if things really go bad i could just go downstairs i might encourage you like when you're in melee with them you could activate the ninefold boots and that way you could get away like really quickly uh without like moving around too much but, like when you want to stand still be all right good luck here we go. I need to throw it far enough that it's not going to get me, right? Yeah, that is the hope. Are you using a stasis or an EMP? Oh. Uh-oh. Well, the good news is that didn't anger them. <laughs> They're still okay. That was really good. <laughs> I'm astrally burdened? Yeah. Um, Like I mentioned, uh, you can't use mental mutations right it also affects the geo uh, magnetic disc by the by all right yeah your point defense you don't actually need the point defense drone i don't think that they're going to shoot anything at you so you might want to throw your quantum moat back on which is apparently also affected by emp how long does emp last <laughs> uh a few turns it was a ting it was a mark two so it'll last for okay you're you're good your your stuff is bleeping and booping let's just look just to make sure everything's yep okay that was okay. A, a really good that opener. Didn't feel great because <laughs> i guess i tried to throw over him yeah and he got in the way remember you're not exactly a super accurate at throwing either so you might miss and still bounce it yeah, that seems good. There you go. Did I get him? Uh, you might have, but... Yes, that one's sparking, right? Yeah, the top, the two left on the... Uh, two on the left are, are sparking, but... Um, they're not angry at you yet. So you might want to throw something a bit more aggressive, like a... A grenade. I don't think you'll destroy everything with an explosive grenade. Ooh, sp yeah, uh, I was just gonna... Yeah, that was... 
gonna, I was going to suggest something. Tell me. Uh, the spring turret grenade, but it would uh, like actively do nothing mm. since they would just reflect the bullets back at the turret. No. <laughs> uh, we have Mark 3s. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Uh... Your throwing range is not... It, it is finite. But I'm pretty good because I took the things to make me pretty good. Yeah. It definitely gets you farther. I think that yellow means like that'll be the extent. Ooh, okay, now they're mad. Seems like you only angered the ones that hit were hit by that. So that's good. I'm actually learning things here. Uh oh careful. They'll, they'll yeah. bounce. They'll bounce. Yeah, you might want to think about switching to a stasis or, um, oh yeah, activate your tri-hologram. Let's see that. So yeah, you get to place three different ones. Oh. Hmm. Get them. Get them, boys. Nice. Yeah, you can throw some more grenades now. This is, this is, uh, very effective. I'm a little worried that um, since they are technically Beatles, um, one characteristic of Beatles is that when they die, they explode violently. But we'll see. We're really doing some aggressive archaeology here. And we saw the extent of your throwing arm there. Um, All right. I'm out of things. Yeah, but I like how that's like... going, so I'm going to make some more. All right. We're, we're... How do you feel about that? I'm, I'm okay with that, yeah. I was gonna, I was wondering, like, since you have your hologram bracelet, I was wondering if you would want to, like, charge one and try and take it on. But that, um, no, this makes sense, too. Well, I'm, I'm kind of a coward. Yeah, that's fine. The, this, so, that's a good thing to be in, Cud. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'd like to get, like, maybe when we're down to, like, two of them. Okay. I'll be more willing to just get in their faces. Yeah. Might have been uh, worth making a grenade launcher. <laughs> oh, where did they go? We lost. We lost one. He went up. I think he he's uh, maybe fighting the hologram to the right. Maybe. There he is. There he is. Get them a little bit closer. I love the tile for the uh, Betel Cherubim so much, actually. They're really cool. How's he looking? Uh, yeah, look right at it. Lightly damaged. That's pretty good. That's the same as injured. Oop. We're definitely going to need more grenades. If this is how we intend to, to kill... I mean, it's working. We've got the bits. It is working, and we do have the bits. Although I could make a grenade launcher. Eh, this is working. We don't need it. Ba 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 ba. The only thing that sucks about that is that you are taking turns to do that, turns, yeah. and then they they get a little bit of a chance to heal. But I don't think that they get enough of a chance. This is this is working out really well. You got. I won't say lucky, but like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I got greedy. Um, the the use of hologram bracelet throughout this game has been like impeccable. It's been our greatest ally. So it it, it uh, actually suits the series so well that we're using tri hologram bracelets to fight the cherubim. Just so you know, this is completely optional. Um, I want that face. I know. I, I'm not telling you. I'm just like, this fight is not um, something you're forced to do. Did we get one? Uh, no. It's just out of view, I think. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're doing My it. freaking holograms you, are in the way. Yeah, they're in the way. All right, let's see how this goes. We can always walk away. Oh, we get to shank him. Shank him. Because oh. we penned more than twice. 
Oh, you killed one. You killed one with the shank. Nice. All right. It took a little bit of damage there. I'm not sure from what, to be honest. No, most of that was from me um, blowing myself up. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You may recall I that little did. incident. I did. Rec I do recall. This I is going to be a that. long episode, but I didn't want to cut out the cherubim. Oh, no. God. <laughs> fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> We're doing more damage to ourselves. That one didn't actually hurt me. It went past me. Yeah, it did. Fine. It did go past you, thank, thank God. Imagine if you'd used the handy nuke. <laughs> I honestly, I can't imagine a funnier end. If you had done that, that would have been that would have been content. I should have let it happen. Can I equip that thing now? Is that worth it? Which the point defense drone? No, the throwy the xeno the xeno ring oh the geothermal d disc yeah um is I that don't gonna know, bounce back i don't know how it's gonna work first of all you're astrally burdened so i'm not sure if that won't destroy the th geothermal disc oh. um okay. but also i don't know if they won't just bounce that as well but i don't know how that works what you're doing is working so uh and we can also smack them there only one of the oh, oh no that uh, one's hiding but that's that's fine i can run away you can wa run away i'm wondering if you could just deactivate your hologram bla bracelet and then put it next to them then uh, it would give them something to do uh first i'm gonna shield slam okay oh no first i'm gonna shank oh yeah nice you miss you did miss with the uh you perform an act of nimble violence. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently, they're still going after your hologram, so you don't actually have to mess with that at all. Could do a stunning force. Might be a good idea. They're, like, pretty close to you. Yeah. And now, do we have charge back? That one's flashing, so that means he's going to die soon, right? Uh, I think that means that they are stunned. Hmm. I'm not sure. We don't have charge yet. I have, I've um, never fought Cherubim or uh, Betel Cherubim before. We, yeah, jump would be good. Why don't you jump over there and then you can start smacking them like immediately. Conk. Yep. They're badly damaged. Wow, they, they really want to kill your holograms. The, the hologram bracelet is proving to be like an overpowered weapon. Shield slam. Shield slam is good because... Uh, our, our uh, lens, our item. Oh, they're dead? Cool. These guys are kind of proven to be a little bit chump. Chumps! Chumps. Chumpish. No, I, I blew a lot of them up. Like, I'm earning this. Yeah, you definitely are. You're using all of your tools to the best of their uh, your disposal. And um, I think that that is like, when, you, when it comes down to it, using your tools in CUD is the best way to play cut optimally just like use your shit you got it use it got it flaunt it you know that's right conk good you could also oh how are they moving away from you so quickly i think I technically know, you can, they stop to exist uh someone's gonna like point this out at some point uh in the comments but you could have technically flown in this chamber uh and I don't even think there's a risk to you falling out of the sky and they wouldn't have been able to hit you and you could have just grenaded them from the sky. Well, if ifs and buts or candies and nuts. I just remembered that you going? could fly. He's running away from me. Nah, he's running towards your hologram. And away from me. That's true. What's Flurry do again? Uh, makes you attack with all of your equipped weapons. It's good. Definitely use it if you can. Damaged. You I think because are... they're flying, I think that's why they kept, like, getting away from me, kind of. They're not flying. Mm. They can't fly, I don't think. But they're angels. Yeah. But they, uh, you know. I, I only know say this you're... because, um... When I try to hit them, I go through them. Yeah, if it's because they're technically your allies right now. Like, they're, they're actually cool with you. Um, the reason they're cool with you, they're they're not naturally aggressive to you, is because you have the, the mark of death on you. 
So you're technically they see you as a sultan, um, essentially. So like then let me in the box. Well, it's but it's not it's not your that not their choice. Yeah, I mean like they're put there to protect that specific sultan's goods. They're basically Sir? crypt sitters for sultans. Oh, well, too close. Yeah, I know. Um, something I was going to mention as just like a, a point of, oh, you get to shank him. Uh, a point of like interest here is that that t north chest has the goods of the sultan. That south chest is the actual resting place of Orotafa. Like we are in Orotafa's chamber right now. I can charge. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of oil around. You keep slipping on it. Oh, that's why I'm flying all over the place. Yeah, a little bit. Ba 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 ba. Resisted. Oh well. Can't win them all. Got three shanks in a row. You did get three shanks in a row. Smack, smack. They keep switching back from hostile to like neutral. They're like, does not compute. What 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 has happened? I like, why well, I cannot fight you? What what is going on? Smack smack smack! Come on, dude. They're tough. This was the one I didn't blow up a lot. I think is why he's taking so long. Yeah. They're they're like literal gods, basically. You know, fun fact about cherubim, uh, if you if you would like, um, sure. Th there's one for every faction, so you know, like there's a dog cherubim, cat cherubim, um, and there's also two forms of every cherubim. There's the normal cherubim for the faction, and then there's a robotic form of the cherubim. So you can have a like a robotic dog cherubim. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's really not interested in fighting you. You are going to have to kill them, though. Really threaden the needle through there. Nice. They're badly damaged. They're very close. Very close to death here. Smack. Stunned. Flurry. I have a slam? Uh, probably. Shield slam. Resisted. Stunned. Come on, dude. There we Got go. Him. I think that's it. Oh. Bit of a workout, but, you know... Didn't really pose much of a threat. Uh oh. No, nah, that's fine. Wait. Uh, did you take all or did you just take the Kessel face? Oh, you I did take all. all. All right. Um, let's put that bad boy on. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> don't enter <laughs> that. That would be a big bad. Get out of here, polyhedral rings. Get out of here. Ooh, I'm telepathic. I honestly might recommend we wear use that long blade, even though it's not a cudgel. What are we currently wearing in our other hand? Uh, uh oh, the Vams lens. That is pretty good. Alright, never mind then. Vams lens is is good. I, I, you can't really beat Vam's lens. It would just be um, like, I'm going to heal. Really. Yeah, go ahead and heal. And, uh, we'll From end those the episode grenades here. I threw at myself. Yeah. Um, well done. Fighting the cherubim, getting the Kessel face. The long, the meme is finally closed. We, we got the Kessel face for real legit. And, um, yeah, that's, I said, I wanted it you and I got it. it. And you now got I've it. got a Batman face. You got it, Pat. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll uh, be finishing up the tomb on the next episode. See you later. See you.